Hi guys, welcome to TickBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 25267. This is the last dev channel build for the year 2022. It has been a great year with a lot of new features and improvements in Windows 11. So this is the last build that we're going to see in this year. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TickBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. This video is sponsored by by keysfan.com. Keysfan offers cheap and legal Windows Office and software licenses with big discounts in the month of December. For example, you can get the Windows 10 Pro license for just $10 by using the coupon code TB50 and you can also upgrade for free to Windows 11. By using the coupon code TB50, you can also get Windows 11 Pro for just $13. Office licenses have even a better discount with 62% off by using the coupon code TB62. Check out the great prices from keysfan.com in the links from the description below and don't forget to apply the coupon codes. Thank you to keysfan.com for the sponsorship. Let's continue with the video. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this newest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel. First of all, we need to talk about the dev channel because Albacore on Twitter recently provided some more information about Windows 11, so what you need to know is that all the builds that have been released on the dev channel since the build 25247 are part of a new development cycle called Zinc, as opposed to Copper, which was the previous development cycle. Unlike the the other cycles, there was no release branch for stabilization or big build jump, so the transition was basically unnoticeable. And also, this could mean that there will likely be no slowdown of features or window to switch from the dev to the beta channel in the near future. So these are some things that you need to note about the dev channel. Now let's talk about this build. First of all, Microsoft is providing an ISO download for this build. This is not available at the moment, but it should soon be available. You can just check out the article below in the video description for more info about that. The only big change and improvement in this build is the search on the taskbar. If you notice, now the search on the taskbar will begin to have an updated treatment with rounded corners and I think this looks better than the old one and uh, it has a nice little animation. As you can see, it is a bit bugged because I cannot see the search highlights whenever I don't click on it. And when I click on it, I have a rectangular shape flash around the search box and then the search highlights will appear. You can also right click on the taskbar and then click on taskbar settings to see more options about that. As you can see, as it was in the previous build, you have the option to hide it, search icon only, search box or search button. But I think the rounded corners looks better because it goes hand in hand with the Windows 11 experience as opposed to the rectangular shape of the search box. In this build, as I've said, this is the only change and improvement, the only feature that was worked on and improved, but we have a lot of fixes in this build as it is the last build for the year 2022. In general, Microsoft fixed an issue which caused some insiders to have issues casting with Windows plus K in the previous flight. Regarding the taskbar and system tray, they fixed an issue causing the Bluetooth section of quick settings to crash for some people. Also, they updated the quick settings icons in the taskbar when using a screen reader. So if you set focus to each of the icons, it no longer includes the word system state and instead just says that the icon is, for example, of system volume state, it just says volume. If focus is set to an app icon in the taskbar and you use alt plus shift plus left or right to move it, the reader will now say that it has been moved. And they also fixed a high heading explorer.exe crash which was impacting some insiders in the last two flights. Regarding the search on the taskbar, they fixed the issue causing a search box which appeared to be floating on the desktop when you changed your primary monitor or plugged in an external display. And also text in the box should no longer be clipped on the bottom when using increased text scaling. Regarding input, clicking the notification received the first time you press Alt plus Shift should open the customize option now rather than unexpectedly opening a command prompt window. And they also fixed an issue which was causing the first candidate item to be invisible or clipped sometimes in the simplified Chinese IME candidate window. Regarding the file explorer, they fixed an issue where using a browse for folder from an app was only showing desktop and no other folders for some people. Regarding the settings app, if a Windows update failed to install, the error code and Windows update history can now be selected if you want to copy it out. And also they fixed an issue where restartable copies of a file with alternate data streams were hanging frequently in the latest dev channel builds. So basically, this is the last build for this year. As I've said, this is all there is to it. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to also check out the article below in the video description for more info. Also, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.